Right, folks, um, time to crack on with some French infantry. So here we've got a box of Perry's, as you can call, French infantry. Just taking the paperwork out, just to see it's all the bits and pieces. Lovely, lovely pictures. So let's just oh, open it up, take out what we've got. These are from the, uh, the lot over the Christmas time, so nothing much in that. Uh, pack of bases. Oops, pack of bases which I shan't be using. Um, there's some knights as well, isn't there? Yep, French knights. Well, the reason I'm doing the men at arms is because I've got a load of knights, so we'll put those away. And what are we left with? What we got? 12. Well, we've got 36 figures, haven't we? And now I need 40, but I've got another about half a dozen done. Um, problem is there's quite a few crossbowmen but I think you know, I can uh, not have to worry about using the crossbow arms I just really want spearmen, billmen, axemen that sort of thing at the moment I have got loose arms not personally but um, <laughs> I've got a pack of loose arms um, with some more bits and pieces yep so I'm gonna get cracking I'm gonna get um, clipping and declip and take all these off I'll leave the crossbow arms and everything on at the moment. Uh, probably even leave the pavis on at the moment. I might take them off. Yep, so I think I'll get busy on that. And then uh, once I've got it all declipped, we'll sort out into little groups uh, what I can make. So back in a tick. Right, there we go. The big unclip has taken place. I've uh, declipped, uh, I've just made this over here, as you can see there's the bodies, big pile of bodies and some extra figures. I've also got a few extras left over from last time, they're already sprayed up and undercoated, ready to go. Uh, so we've got a pile of swords, a pile of heads, about 42 heads and then various arm sets. Now I tend to keep these in their pairs because they are, are linked uh, with several different um, padded um, padded sleeves or metal um, or plate armoured sleeves or uh, all sorts, all sorts of sleeves. So I keep those in the pairs so they, uh, as you can see they fit with this one like with the birdish axe. This one pair has a pike um, and yeah pikes or spears as I would call them and uh, yeah there you go with sleeve. Um, some have got a second hand like that is actually cast on the spear so you've got an arm with no end of the wrist, I've just got to line those up. And then with this one here, it's just a one-handed job, so that's quite easy to place the second hand down by side or whatever you want to do. Right, <clears throat> so with all that done and said, it's now the big clean-up. Obviously I've just declipped them, so now I've got to go around with a file and a knife, cleaning up all the extra bits and pieces of burrs and extra it won't take too long it never normally does um yeah so i'll get them cleaned up and then i'm gonna be ready for sticking i think so back in the tick so um we're all cleaned up knife has been busy cleaned up the necks and the bases heads are cleaned up it's now ready with a super glue it's super glue stick time oh that must have a bit collapsed that super glue anyway i have more super glue if that doesn't work but anyway yeah I'm going to super glue these all together, my preferred glue of choice. So I'll get these all glued up and uh, come back to you. There we have it. The little beggars are done. There we have 40. He just counts just to make sure. Yes, 40 lesser knights slash men at arms all put together and ship shape. Yep, ready to start painting. So I think tomorrow it's going to be out and uh, get these undercoated, these 40. I don't think I shall paint them all in one go. I think I'll do several sessions, perhaps eight or 16 at a time, um, to go with the second ranks of the uh, knights that are finished. But uh, anyway, there you go. My sticking and gluing hasn't, fingers haven't been too bad today. A bit of super glue on them, but I'll scrub that off. I actually find sandpaper takes it up easier. <laughs> and then a bit of soap and water. Right, that's enough waffling. So. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.